TFT has variants, so nothing is guaranteed. But I do think I'm a favorite to win regionals because I'm the best player. Uh, the skill gap is actually so wide that Soji was begging me to not play. He said, um, don't even show up, lil bro. Uh, okay, so my plan for making worlds is first talk to all the other regional players, um, steal their tech and give them false tech. So sabotage them. And then after that, it should be pretty easy to make it past day one and day two after I have all their tech and then they're they're lost. And then for the final day, I'm just gonna uh, play like Shimmer on 2-1 on a third of my games, um, hit a three-star dragon on a third of my games, and then uh, hit scope weapons three a few times as well. Um, so yeah, and then, and then we should be good to go. Hello, I'm Goobums, and the reason why I think I deserve to go to Worlds this set is because I am one of the, if not the best player in North America. Um, I've already been to Worlds before, so I've studied a lot of the other regions, I know how they play, and I'm confident I can win, and I'm confident that I have the best chance of winning Worlds for North America if I get to play again. And also, I'm confident that I'm already making it to Worlds, so I just want to find out which one of you guys gets second place at Regionals. <laughs> I deserve to go to Worlds because I'll be the first NA player to win Worlds and bring the trophy home to NA. I'm actually not that good at this set, so I don't feel like I deserve a spot at Worlds, but if I make it, it'll be a big more dog diff. Hi, uh, my name is Carmex, and the way that I'm going to make it to Worlds is the same way I did the first time, which is uh, play well on the day and, and Hyrule my off. Please, more dog, give me your blessing. Uh, I'm going to make it to Worlds because I'm a turbo believer. And I never give up until it's actually over. At the end of set 6, I've improved so much as a player. Uh, this year I'm going to Worlds because I have the best early game, and I know the most lines on the entire server. I deserve to be at Worlds this set because I have the best read on the meta, and I'll be forcing Soraka 3 reroll, the best comp in the game, to prove it. I am going to make Worlds by playing the top secret cat and dog composition, where you reroll Nasus, Nidley, and Zibby. I average probably about a 3.0 of this on ladder if we were to remove the bot for outliers, and I'm very confident that this comp will be able to take me to the big leagues. So why do I deserve to be a world? Well, I think I deserve to be a world because um, I'm North America's greatest innovator. I think I come up with really cool strategies, brand new uh, things that nobody even heard of. Uh, last set, right before NA regionals, I came up with uh, uh, server tech. And at the time, not a single person played it, but I found out that server is actually incredibly broken. Unfortunately, during that region journals, I leaked it to everyone else, and Silver became pretty much four-way contested at NA regionals every game. And then Silver eventually became so broken that even at Worlds, it was pretty much picked every single game and hard forced. Well, at this regionals, um, how am I gonna make it? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now that uh, I'm not gonna leak all of my tech to maybe a select few people that I trust. And then I think by um, uh, coming up with the new strategies and like uh, coming up with innovative, w innovative ways to play the game is just going to be my huge edge going to uh, NA Regionals. So that's how I'm going to make it. Um, I'm going to stomp all the little kids, all the little bros in, uh, um, at Regionals who call me old. Bertosaurus looking at you, Setsuko looking at you, little bro looking at you, Lulu looking at you. Lulu's Preston by the way. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm like the LeBron James of Teamfight Tactics. 